Hi, welcome back to section six, lesson two. So let's continue and let's look at ClickView services. So the primary one is the ClickView service, and then you have QDS, which is ClickView distribution service, and then you have DSC, which is the directory service connector, and then you have QMS, which is ClickView management service, and then you have QEWS, which is ClickView web server. Finally, you have QSS, which is ClickView setting service. So all these services communicate via web service calls. So let's go ahead and look at QVS first. So QVS is the heart and brain in ClickView setup. This is a service which does all of the heavy lifting. And ClickView server service handles the communication between the client and the ClickView application. So remember the communication is two step process. First one being client to web server and web server to QVS. So QVS handles the communication. Only one QVS instance per server, whether it's physical machine or a virtual machine, you can't have multiple QVS instances running on same Windows box. And QVS keeps all the calculations cached. So what happens is, Let's say that when a user logs on at the beginning of the day, if the user is a first user and he's accessing an application, so the document is loaded into the memory and then every selection the user is making, it's cached. So if the next user comes on board and he makes the same selections, so these new queries are not recalculated again because they're already cached in QVS and the same cache is retrieved. QVS uses a proprietary caching algorithm. Don't worry if you see the RAM spiking up on QVS during the day. Generally, as a practice, in most environments, QVS is set to restart once a week. Or in some cases, if you have busy server where loads of applications are loaded, you might as well want it to restart the services overnight. So QVS is a RAM and CPU hungry. As discussed earlier, every selection is cached and this applies across all the documents. So the cache is managed via the working set limits set on the server. And QVS communicates directly with ClickView Desktop, ClickView Plugin, and any other OCX clients because there is no web server in between QVS and ClickView Desktop. Also, there is no web server between ClickView IE Plugin and the QVS. However, you need to think about HTTP tunneling as possible option. QVS communicates directly with ClickView Desktop, IE Plugin, and OCX clients. It communicates using port number 4747, and this communication is encrypted and in binary format, so it's really secured. This communication protocol is called QVP. So the AJAX and mobile clients use QVWS, or IIS to communicate with QVS. If you access the application via AJAX client, AJAX client is in turn pushing the request to the web server, and the web server is pushing the request to QVS. So the first leg of communication between the client and the web server is happening via HTTP or HTTPS protocol if you have implemented the certificates. So the second leg of communication happens via the QVPX protocol. Hope that made sense. If in case all users complained saying that they are not able to access any of the ClickView applications, then you might want to look at QVS service first. So in the next lesson, we'll look at QDS. Thank you.